The question is, will AI accelerate drug discovery? And the answer is not only can it, it is accelerating drug discovery. AI is definitely accelerating drug discovery. We have already seen progress, uh, spectacular progress on the target site, and that's the Nobel Prize in chemistry from 2024. From the chemistry perspective, the, the chemical space is huge, so we can only dream a few million molecules, but uh, uh, AI, generative AI, can help us just going much beyond the space of the explored and then come up with completely new strategies of targeting particular proteins or targeting particular diseases. We're clearly living in a time at the moment, this past five years, and it's accelerating, uh, where, where AI has really uh, changed in its ability to impact all sorts of aspects of society, from um, large language models and chatbots to uh, image recognition to perhaps uh, things like self-driving and and maybe general artificial intelligence. Can each of these be applied to biomedicine and in what way uh, is the big question everyone is asking these days. And, and of course, we have to be very careful as to how uh, these uh, AI systems analyze this data and the answers that they give. And we have to be fully aware that we cannot blindly trust the result. Is that these machines should not just make predictions, sort of like the Wizard of Oz behind a green curtain, and you have to simply trust it because they're all knowing. Absolutely not. You should not trust that situation until the machine can explain itself. What we expect to see here is a, a, a leap similar to what we saw in chess where or go so where where these neural networks came up with new movements that not even the grandmasters had uh, uh, thought about before how do conferences like this advance these questions of artificial intelligence and biology the main goal of any scientific conference is uh, is twofold so on the one hand is to learn about the new developments so the cutting edge things that are happening in the field before they get published but then on the other hand also to meet with your colleagues, this is what will trigger afterwards uh, potential uh, scientific collaborations. The biomed format, I think, is ideal for this because we are 150 people roughly that are locked in this room for two and a half days, which means that this will foster uh, lots of new interactions.